Welcome everyone to the uh, December meeting of the Northwestern Lehigh School District Board of Education. And this is an unusual evening tonight. We have two meetings. First, we will have our uh, required reorganization meeting. And then uh, after that, that will be very short. And after that, we'll move into our business meeting for this evening. So I would ask you at this time to please join me in opening exercises. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. And uh, stay tuned. Please call the roll. John Cassiano. Here. Willard Delacker? Here. Joseph Fetzinger? Here. Todd Leiser? Here. Rachel Scheffler? Here. Okay, thank you. We uh, next on the agenda is approval of the agenda for the uh, reorganization meeting, and I would entertain a motion. No move. Motion by Mr. Fetzinger. Second. Say goodbye. Mr. Leiser, any comments or questions? Very nominal. All those in favor, aye. 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 No. We have an agenda. Welcome again this evening, and I um, would ask uh, Mrs. Holman if you, she would just uh, review a little bit what uh, the purpose of uh, the reorganization is and um, why it's a little bit unusual this evening, uh, given the uh, election certification problems that we're having in Lehigh County. Certainly. Never. So you do, we do have a, an unusual reorganization this evening. Um, if there's anything certainly that Attorney Moore has updates on, she will um, add that to my comments. Typically tonight's reorganization is very celebratory because we do, it is the time and the meeting that is designed in school code that is required to both swear in newly elected board members as well as reorganize the board. Um, as many of you have seen in the news, Lehigh County is having a difficult time with their election this year and has had many um, challenges to the election ballot. And so the most recent development is there was an appeal to Commonwealth Court about a number of write-in ballots. And as a result of that um, challenge that has yet to be decided, Lehigh County has yet to certify the election. This is not a Lehigh or a school district problem, not just school districts. It certainly affects every elected official in Lehigh County. Um, and so tonight's reorganization will be slightly different. You heard on um, the roll call of board members will be what is called the holdover board members. So it is the five holdover board members who are not up for election. And, and that is what they're called. So the five members sitting around the table, Mr. Delacre, Mr. Leiser, Mrs. Shuffler, Mr. Fatsinger and Mr. Cassiano are the holdover members where the board will be reorganized. It is a requirement in school code that that be done the first week of December. Um, as soon as such time as Lehigh County certifies the election with the appropriate certifications for the newly elected members of which there are four, we will, um, there's a process we have to follow. We do have to send letters out five days in advance. So we will start that process as soon as we know the election is certified. And we will have to go through a swearing in process, which will be at the next publicly available meeting where we can do the swearing in. Judge Crichton, who is the local magistrate, has typically and planned to be here this evening, will do the swearing in of the new members. Um, but this evening, we will be operating with the five members around the table for the reorganization, um, which does have a process where there's a temporary president who will be appointed and we will accept nominations for president and for vice president this evening. That meeting will end, and as Mr. Delacour said, it is a very short meeting, and then we will hold a business meeting just um, after that meeting with the five members around the table. Um, the board members um, who are seated um, to the right are able to, with the board's permission, ask questions. They are able to discuss, that is, of course, with the board's permission, and they are just not able to vote or make any motions as part of the board or participate in any um, executive or private sessions until such time as they are sworn in. Does that anything? Sure, I can just provide an update that my office has been in touch with the uh, county solicitor's office at Lehigh County. So as Mrs. Holman said, this uh, the issue is a, a, an appeal from a decision from the Lehigh County Bureau of Elections that then went up to the trial court that affirmed the original decision. That has now been appealed to the Commonwealth Court. Briefs on the matter were due uh, today to the Commonwealth Court. And when dealing with issues like this, the courts have to provide an immediate resolution to challenges uh, with regard to certifications. 
the uh, Lehigh County solicitor is advising us that even if this is appealed to the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania, which it can, they do expect a resolution possibly before the holidays. Lehigh County Solicitor's Office is also in contact with the state to see if there's any other options to certify the election results prior to um, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court uh, weighing in on it because they understand that a, that a lot of school boards, municipalities are in a jam as a, as a result of this. And but they will not be uh, issuing certifications of elections if we did inquire. Okay, well, thank you for that uh, introduction. And uh, before we move into courtesy of the floor this evening for this meeting, I would like to recognize some new members <coughs> that are coming on to the board who are with us tonight. First, we have Mrs. Height and uh, Mrs. Cenobitis, Dr. Lauren Hunsicker, and Todd Hernandez. Todd is a, a whole, a, 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 what, a third termer coming up whenever this certification comes <coughs> through. But, uh, Welcome, uh, Mrs. Senevitis, Mrs. Hyde, and Dr. Hunziker as new board members when we get through this certification. And also, we have with us officially this evening our new business manager, Ryan Kish, who has uh, been at the meetings for the last three months uh, on his own time and is finally on the payroll and uh, an official employee here at Northwestern Lehigh. Welcome aboard Thank you. this evening. Thank you. Okay, at this time, we will offer courtesy floor to anyone who is with us tonight that would like to uh, address the board. If you would please rise, state your name and uh, the township you live in. Hearing no takers at this time, there is also another uh, offer of courtesy of floor at the end of this meeting. First item of business on the reorg uh, meeting is uh, election of a president pro tem, and uh, I would entertain a motion for that position. I'd like to make a motion uh, to uh, nominate Todd Leiser for President Pro Tem. Okay, there's a nomination for uh, Todd Leiser as uh, President Pro Tem, and uh, is there a second to that motion? Second. Second by, second by uh, <coughs> Mrs. Scheffler, and uh, comments or questions? Is there a, a motion to uh, close the nominations? No move. Motion by Mr. Fatsinger, second, second. by Mrs. Scheffler. Any comments or questions? All those in favor, aye. 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 There's no motion carried. Welcome, Mr. Eliza, pro temp, President pro temp. Thank and you very much. As my first order of business as the uh, <laughs> president pro <puts> temp, <laughs> I would like to open nice. the uh, nomination uh, for the uh, actual president of the board. So, do we have any, any nominations for the office of president? Oh, the acknowledgement of the board. Oh, I, the acknowledgement of the board list. So uh, you all have on the agenda a list of all of the qualified legally elected and appointed appointees uh, known as the holdover members uh, on, on the uh, board agenda. Uh, if anyone sees any errors or inaccuracies on this list, uh, speak now. If not, uh, does anyone desire to have this list read aloud? It was read aloud during the early acknowledgement of the attendees. No. Okay. So now moving on. Uh, do we have a nomination for the president? I'd like to nominate President Delaker to serve another term. Do we have a second? Second that. Second by uh, Mr. Castiano, first by Joe Castiano. Any other nominations? If not, can we have a roll call vote, please? Sure. John Castiano? Aye. Willard Delaker? Aye. <laughs> Joseph Fetzinger? Aye. Todd Leiser? Aye. Rachel Scheffler? Aye. Uh, I just have it. So welcome, Mr. Delegate, as president of the board. Uh, thank you, Mr. Leiser. Job well done. <laughs> I don't know about the results, but uh, <laughs> really good. Good good luck. Well. All right. <clears throat> Moving on to the uh, next item on the. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah. The next item on the uh, reorganization is the election of a vice president. And uh, at this time, I would uh, entertain a motion for uh, nominations for vice president. I will nominate Mr. Joseph Fatsinger for vice president. Nomination for Mr. Fatsinger as vice president. Is there a second to that nomination? Second. Second by Mr. Leiser. Uh, all those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, no. 
guess I have to ask if there's a uh, nominate any further nominations for vice president, which I will do now. Any further nominations for vice president? Carry on. The nomination is for uh, Mr. Patsinger. We do have a uh, motion and a second. All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, no. Congratulations, Mr. Vice President. Thank you. Can I make a comment? Yes, you may. No. Um, I, I would like to suggest, however, um, I'll accept the nomination, which maybe I should have said before, but I do think it's important that the other members be involved and and um, I, I would like to serve as vice president until the time when the other members are available to vote and I will resign my position and let somebody else take it. Okay, that's understood. And uh, that we can address in the future, at a future meeting after the election is certified and we regroup as a whole, including all nine board members. Okay. Um, Okay, at this time we offer courtesy of Ford. If anybody would like to address the board once again before we adjourn? Seeing no takers. Uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn the uh, reorganization meeting. So moved. Motion by Mr. Weiser. Second. Second by Mr. Cassiano. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Moving into the uh, regular meeting for Northwestern Lehigh, I would ask once again uh, that you uh, join me in opening exercises for the uh, business meeting. <coughs> Congratulations to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, please be seated. And uh, once again, Please call the roll. Yep. John Cassiano. Here. Willard Delacker. Here. Joseph Fatsinger. Here. Todd Weiser. Here. Rachel Shepler. Here. Okay, thank you. Uh, once again, approval of the agenda number 1.04 on our uh, agenda is approval of the agenda in front of us. There are no changes. No more. Motion by Mr. Fatsinger. Second. Second by Mr. Weiser. Comments or questions? Hearing mm -hmm. none, all those in favor, aye. Aye. No. Motion carried. Welcome once again. And uh, again, we uh, once again offer courtesy the floor. And after this, you'll have one more time. So, anybody would like to address the board at this time, please rise and state your name and the township you lived in. Okay, thank you. We'll move on to the approval of the minutes from the uh, November 17th board meeting, which is in your packet. Motion, motion to approve by Mrs. Scheffler. Second. Second by Mr. Weiser. Any comments or questions? Three none. All those in favor, aye. 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 So no. And at this time, we have uh, recognition and presentations. Mrs. Holman, would you please take us through this? I will. I would like to invite to the podium Roberta Marcus. Roberta is a consultant in residence. I had to look up your title with PSBA, although she is very familiar with school board meetings, having been um, served on Parkland School Board for many, many years. She's very familiar with a number of the how long? 20. 20. Um, a number of years is here this evening to recognize two of our board members. And so PSBA has what's called the PSBA Honor Roll, who recognizes school boards for a long time service to their local schools and communities. And they recognize directors at eight years of service, 24 years of service, and every four years thereafter. So Mr. Hernandez and Mr. Deliker, would you please um, go closer to the podium so Mrs. Roberta Marcus can honor both of you tonight. Side by side, yes, we have. <laughs> yes, we have. You're welcome to stand on the other side, too. Um, thank you, Jennifer. That, that was very kind of you, and I appreciate the um, opportunity this evening to speak to all of you. May I first welcome the 
soon to be new members of the Northwestern Lehigh School Board. Um, as Superintendent Holman said, these are interesting times um, and we look forward to taking your oath of service and becoming members of part the Pennsylvania School Boards Association. Uh, I'm here tonight on behalf of the Pennsylvania School Boards Association to honor two school board directors for their years of dedication to your school district. School board service, as you all know, has been a crucial part of our nation's legacy and its commitment to public education. As the first school boards association in the United States, PSBA has a rich history with more than 125 years of service. And we have a rich history of the people who have given us leadership for public education in their local communities. The consummate school directors are described as ethical, principled, and individuals with a deep desire to serve. They believe in the value of our public schools and local control of public education to benefit all students. Today, school districts are expected to offer more services along with world-class instruction and with limited resources. These expectations provide a tremendous challenge for school directors who are unpaid volunteers, who give of their time to contribute to the schools and to the communities they serve. Schools continued efforts to provide high quality, continuous education to all students even during the pandemic further highlights the key role of school directors in playing in the educating of all of our students. For more than 35 years, PSBA has been recognizing the contributions of dedicated local school directors with significant long-term service. The honor roll is the association's way of thanking those individuals who exemplify leadership by giving unselfishly of their time and talents for the betterment of the public schools serving students across this great commonwealth. It gives me immense pleasure as a former colleague and past president of the association to recognize these two gentlemen for being part of this rich legacy. Our first honoree this evening is Mr. Todd Fernandez. He is receiving a certificate of appreciation in honor of his 12 years of service, and we want to thank you. In addition, we are, I'm here tonight to present to, I apologize, Todd, but I know, you know, you're no, no. Stay. I just, I know. No, no, no <laughs> um, my friend, my colleague, a gentleman who I have had the honor of of not only knowing but serving alongside a plaque which has a stand so but there's a little hole in it um which honors mr willard delacker northwestern lehigh school district for 28 years of service to his community on the school board and we thank you for your exemplary service And I thank you for this opportunity to speak on behalf of PSBA. I wish you all good luck. I wish you good success and a very prosperous, healthy, and successful 2023. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. May I say something? You may. And, I'm and, going to picture. And you're one year off. 2022. Let's, let's, you said, oh, what did I say? 2023? Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Although we all maybe hope we're well past this, but I apologize. This is a special receiving an award from. May I call you Roberta? Of course. This is Marcus. Roberta and I served together at LCTI for a number of years, and then at uh, L Tri C for another number of yeah. years. And Roberta has always been in a leadership role with her board at Parkland and those other two institutions that she served on. And exemplary service. And uh, thank you. This is a special night for me. I need here to be able to have term limits. But <laughs> thank you for coming tonight and presenting us to the honor of being. Best wishes to you. And uh, 
maybe the PSBA strengthen the the uh, school districts in Pennsylvania as we move through this uh, difficult time we're in right now, and uh, you have ours too. Thank, thank you. you. You have ours as well. I appreciate that so much. Well, thank you. Would you mind if I take this photo? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we should take the superintendent. I, I think this is part of it as well. I think this is my best. Yeah. Is the appropriate provider. No, no, no. All right, all right. And I'm going to get one without the background. Oh, okay. Whatever works for you. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. You didn't smoke them. There was no one else. I said. Uh, it is a special treat. Mrs. Marcus um, is fluent with our school district, but you know we could have had any number of people from PSBA come on out. But I do know that she has a special place in her heart for her neighboring district. Although you almost said perfect, I don't know if you I did. Yourself. I know, but it's I have to be a and I I understand for your number of years of service at Parkland as well. So thank you, Mrs. Marcus. And Mr. Dr. Marcus? Dr. Marcus, thank you, I thought so, um, for coming out tonight. You are welcome to stay, but I'm sure you have lots of exciting things to do. Thank you so much for coming out and um, giving very good awards for both of our board members. We appreciate it very much. Thank One you. parting comment I have is, this is what 28 <laughs> years of <laughs> <out of> school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to get that. We oh, what is that? Uh, Thank you. Have a good evening. This is your first election? That was my first election. I got one in both of our hands. Stop. First election, it was contested. It went uh, to a recount for four votes. For the difference, so uh, that was my first <laughs> printed on points. Yeah, that is a relic. Really, 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 really I really don't have a board president's report. We've done enough for that. And I don't have a superintendent's report this evening, and I'm certainly um, glad to welcome Ms. Mrs. Marcus to be able to recognize Bill and Todd. That's been planned for a very long time. and. And so I know both of them are very humble and um, probably looked at it and squirmed, um, but it was a, it's a good honor and you both should, are well deserving of such honor. So congratulations. Thank you. Moving on to uh, personnel, uh, Mrs. Mateka, will you please take us through the personnel action? I will, I do have 26 items outlined for you tonight. <clears throat> Uh, they are presented on the attachment to the agenda. They are usual business items, and the items highlighted in yellow have been added since the agenda was posted. I ask for your approval on this evening. The uh, personal action, personal recommendations in front of you, and I would entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Mrs. Schechter. Thank you. Second by Mr. Cassian. Are there any comments or questions about the uh, personnel action that we have this evening? Hearing none, all those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carried. Thank you, Mrs. Thank you. And uh, next item is uh, under uh, curriculum and building issues. Uh, this is 3.01 uh, review of our health and safety plan. And this is a required uh, re approval, I believe, in six months. Is there anything you'd like to? Um, there is not. Um, had I realized that they were going to require six month re approval, I actually would have done it last month when we talked about it. Um, and we're not totally sure re approval is required, but um, we best thought it was best to bring it to you for approval. There is a new caveat that there is a six month review of the plan, is what it's called. Um, and so, because we don't have another meeting and you last approved this in July, we felt it best to bring. There are minor changes, wording changes identified in yellow and um, orange throughout the plan. The majority of the plan is exactly as it has been um, the last time you saw it, except for obviously the date being updated, um, as well as some information on the last section about visitors. We also identified the two um, vaccination clinics that we have offered, which we have um, notified you about since. And if there's any questions, we will certainly take them. I unfortunately thought maybe this evening we would have an update. The um, oral arguments for the Supreme Court for the mask mandate did happen today. Thought maybe by this evening we might hear some update um, just as a general announcement. We've been trying to send updates, but they did extend the stay of the mask order until today, at least when they had the oral arguments. Um, and we haven't heard an update from the oral arguments um, to my knowledge. So as soon as we hear what the update out of the Supreme Court oral arguments is, we will certainly let you know. I will tell you for those of you who have been asking both staff and, 
parents, our numbers, um, both in Lehigh County, Northwestern cases, as well as percent positivity um, in the last several weeks um, have not taken a positive turn. And so, um, as I said in the last meeting, as we come up to the decision point, we will have to decide what tier we are in. Um, we would likely be in tier three today if we decided it today. The numbers on um, both in Northwestern Lehigh zip codes, um, Lehigh County percent positivity, as well as the cases that are in our actual school buildings, in some cases are four times what they should be. And so uh, we will continue to evaluate that and look at it uh, as the decision becomes ours again, we are prepared to institute the tiered matrix as we've discussed before. This would be a good time for uh, questions uh, about the plan, which we did, uh, as Mrs. Bowman mentioned, review and approve last June and, uh, was it July? July. And, uh, <laughs> The plan was uh, meticulously put together a year before that, based on the uh, knowledge that uh, our administrators got with their uh, consultants at the uh, Leah Valley Health Network and all of the other resources that were available to put this uh, matrix together. I think it's a well thought out plan. Uh, we've discussed it many times in the, uh, in the past and uh, it does list all of the uh, mitigation efforts that we have in place at the school. Uh, one thing, yeah, it does, it talks about our bi bipolar uh, ionizer, which I think uh, doesn't get as much uh, uh, emphasis that, as I think it, it, it deserves in maintaining a clean environment, both the air quality and the surfaces. Uh, as arts people put that in uh, last Christmas, almost a year ago. Uh, wasn't it last Christmas, Art, that we put that in? Yes, yeah. Christmas break. And um, those ionizers, uh, ionizers have been working away at the killing the viruses. I think that's a, a major uh, improvement in uh, fighting off the, uh, the uh, spread of the viruses or colds or any of the other bacteria that gets into our buildings. Is there, are there any questions about any details that uh, might be on your mind this evening about our health and safety plan? I open it up to Todd and, and uh, our new board members as well as we work, work through this and uh, prepare to approve it for another, is it another six months? It will, it, it works, you can, um, edit it more frequently, it is required at least every okay, six months. So we can I, edit it at any time. Yes, and I will correct myself, it was June 16th. June that we approved it, okay. So we have it in front of us, it's uh, held its own through this, although we kind of veered off of it. You know, we, we talked about the two tracks that we have, the, the track of, based on our, uh, our matrix for mitigation efforts and then the track that we're on right now, which is imposed on us by the mandates coming from the uh, state government that we have to follow. So we're in that uh, alternate track right now. But as soon as that goes away, we'll be back to the uh, matrix that we have in front of us for the decision that we need to make going forward regarding the masking and all the other mitigation efforts that we have in place. Any comments or questions? Anything else you'd like to add, Mrs. Holman? I do not. So we, we would appreciate your approval on the plan so we can post um, to the website tomorrow and re-upload to PDE for our six-month re-approval date. Okay, so uh, I would entertain a motion then to uh, approve the uh, six-month re-approval of the health and safety plan. Motion to re-approve this plan. Motion by Mr. Weiser. Second. Second by Mrs. Scheffler. Comments or questions? Hearing none, all those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Thank you. Next under curriculum and building issues, we have the uh, high school program of studies revisions, which I think we do every year. We, we do them every year. Yes, the board. Um, Mrs. Jadish is actually on. The document that is on your agenda is the changes <clears throat> that Mrs. Jadish will explain, but the program of studies in its entirety is also available for you. But she does a nice... Um, update for you, which is what she will explain tonight, Mrs. Jadish. Thank you, Mrs. Holman. Good evening, everyone. I have two um, 
two major updates to our program of studies for the 22-23 school year. Hard to believe, but we will start scheduling our students for next school year um, at the end of January, beginning of February already. And there are two items that I want to bring to your attention. One has really not changed. It's just um, an initiative uh, that was brought to us by PDE. It is the graduation pathways model for graduation. This initiative is effective with the class of 2023, which is our current junior class. So there are no significant changes to what I reported on these pathways when they were first introduced last year. Uh, since I first reported on them a year ago, we have not really received anything but just some clarification on these pathways and some very specific examples and details. Uh, these started coming to us in fall of this school year, uh, even though they were in place a year ago, we're a little bit behind in learning more about them. Um, I learned even more about them as early as this past Monday. Um, and we will continue to update all of this information in our program of studies with our guidance counselors and with our students and parents as we move through this year with our current junior class. Uh, one thing that will be changing is I previously had these pathways numbered, pathways one through five. They are not referring to them as numbered pathways anymore. Uh, you would just see the names along the left-hand side of this document. There's the proficiency pathway, the composite pathway, career and technical pathway, which I'm proud to say many of our students at Northwestern Lehigh High School will uh, graduate by almost 23% of our students will actually graduate with that pathway. We have the alternate, alternate assessment pathway and the evidence-based pathway. So as you can see there on the left, there are some brief explanations of what these pathways look like for our students. Uh, we are in the process of going through our current junior class and their numbers. As you know, with the last year and a half, our testing has been a little bit different than it has been in past years. Um, so we are working through what scores our students have earned, what um, career path that they are on, and out of 174 students currently in the class of 2023, there are 32 students who we still need to identify a pathway for. This does include eight students who have yet to take their keystones for the first time because we had some students due to COVID uh, have not yet taken those tests. Um, and although it has been a long path to get us there, I feel very confident uh, that we are doing this well for our students and they all have worked hard to identify their career path. And I feel confident that we will get to where we need to be uh, by the end of 2023. So as you see here, there really is no change for this year in the program of studies. You will see more details when the actual program of studies is posted at the end of January. And that is simply to uh, further explain what you see listed in narrative form on the left-hand side of this document. The second initiative that we will be taking on is from our language arts department. Uh, the language arts department will be presenting at next week's curriculum council on their changes for 22-23. So I'll just touch upon them for you this evening. Uh, this year, the language arts department focused on two major initiatives and changes to their curriculum and their program of studies plan. One initiative was the concept of offering more student choice to our students at the high school. And the second was to increase uh, instruction on workplace communication skills for our students who are in that CTE track or are looking at the workplace or who really just aren't sure what they wanna do yet after they uh, leave us as a senior. So as you can see, the first update will be that all students uh, at Northwestern Lehigh beginning next year will be allowed to choose which course, which language arts course they want to take in their junior and senior year. So as you can see on the left hand side, previously we had all students required to take very specific courses, English 9, 10, 11, and 12 at their appropriate academic level. And starting next year, our juniors and seniors will be permitted to choose from one of nine courses in their junior and senior year. And I'm very happy to report that uh, all of these courses that you see listed here, these numbers um, are completely outfitted with the Pennsylvania standards for language arts, literacy and communications. And they are not all just your 11th and 12th grade English classes. These courses here do include uh, creative writing, public speaking and journalism. So the language arts department is very excited about this. I think the kids will be very excited about this. 
and we hope to see our numbers grow in those electives. The only updates we have to course descriptions as you scroll down, you will also see is in our language arts department. These are, these are name changes, but also you will hear a little more about this increased instruction in the communication skills. So on the left-hand side, you see that these four courses were previously just named English 3 and English 4, both at the academic and applied levels, depending on what a student's career path was. And on the right-hand side, we have uh, changed these. You will see that now all four of these courses can be taken by either juniors or seniors. Um, students in the first two courses, American Literature and American Literacy and Communication, will both focus on some American literature in their courses, not limited to that, but it is a designation that the department decided to uh, give these two courses. Um, and as you see, that communications piece is emphasized in that literacy and communications course, both at the American level and world level. Um, same with the English 12, this became a world literature course and the English 4 communications became a literacy and communications course. So we are very proud of this. This has been a long time coming. Unfortunately, this was an initiative uh, that this department also started before COVID. Um, so uh, they have worked very hard with Mrs. Stitzel and with myself and Mr. Gibbler. Um, more so with each other to really change all of their courses, bring all of the standards into all of their electives so that they could offer students more opportunities uh, for success and something that really interested them either as a hobby or something they just enjoy or something that might actually be a career path. So those are our changes for the high school program of studies for 22-23. So Bill did ask me, is this an annual approval? Yes, we've historically brought the changes. Mrs. Jadish gives you the changes to the updated program of studies. It typically comes in December, sometimes in January, because you heard her say we do start the scheduling of courses for our students, um, usually end of January or February. And so the program of studies for which students can select courses needs to obviously be approved by you prior to students selecting their course choices. Does anyone have any questions for Mrs. Jadish? In the uh, curriculum council meeting then on Monday, will there be more detail provided on these or what's the... Mrs. Shadish or Mrs. Stutzel, you want to answer that? Yeah. Did you... Sure. Sure, I'll jump in while Leanne's uh, unmuting there. Um, yes, the department will speak specifically about the actual curricular changes that occurred in these courses, as well as in the three electives. Um, they will be more than happy to share with you how they came to this um, decision in making the change of student choice. Uh, they're very proud of it, as they should be, and they will go into more specific detail, yes. Any other questions? <clears throat> I think a takeaway from what we heard, uh, Mrs. Yadish, as uh, she walked us through the changes, was the uh, the time that it takes and the and the intentional analysis that is put into any change that we make to our curriculum, which is uh, extremely important. The uh, the curriculum council is just one step in the way on the way that we use to uh, develop our curriculum here at Northwestern Lehigh, and it is a methodical and uh, uh, reviewed at every stage to make changes to our curriculum. And I think that is a, a noteworthy uh, accomplishment that we do here at Northwestern Lehigh that not every district uh, uses, but uh, we do have a very comprehensive approval method of uh, making any changes, additions, or corrections to our curriculum. And uh, again, as board members, uh, setting policy and uh, approving curriculum for the students in our community is one of the two most important things that we do as uh, board members. So thank you, Mrs. Yadish. And um, I guess we're looking for uh, action on this. Yeah, that would be great. So uh, I, uh, having heard the uh, discussion, I would entertain a motion to uh, approve the revisions to the high school program of studies book that we heard this evening. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Mrs. Scheffler. Second by Mr. Cassiano. 
Any yes. comments or questions? Hearing all, all those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Thank you. John, well done. Thank you. And moving on to uh, policy. Uh, the only thing under policy this evening are is a uh, final approval of four policies that are listed that uh, we have vetted uh, during our workshop meeting and ask if there are any comments or changes that uh, you received, Dr. Sosnovi. I have not received any, but I would just like to highlight we did pull two policies off for final approval for tonight. That was policy 006 meetings, as well as policy 903 public participation in board meetings. There is pending litigation uh, that involved both of those policies potentially changing in the near future. So instead of approving them and then having to go through this entire process again, possibly within the next month or so, we are just pulling them to see what happens with the current litigation surrounding uh, First Amendment in these policies and then bring them for your review at that time. Okay. Thank you for pointing that out. Thank you for pointing that out. It's important. So the uh, four policies that we have are the uh, uh, 002 authority and powers of the board. Uh, and then we have uh, disciplinary procedures, school bus drivers and commercial vehicle drivers and school vehicle drivers, uh, policies that affect those uh, personnel in our district. And uh, with that, I would entertain a motion to uh, approve these policies. No move. Motion by Mr. Fassinger. Second, Second by Mr. Leiser. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carried. New policies, Mr. Oaks. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, there are no policies to rescind, and uh, we'll move into uh, district finances. And uh, welcome once again, Mr. Cash. And if you would like to uh, walk us through the uh, items under finances, we'll take action on those. Sure. So uh, tonight we're seeking approval for four student activity contracts under 6.01 to be paid for from the student activities fund. The first one is Hawk Mountain Council of Boy Scouts America for its sixth grade orienteering and outdoor education. The second one is Ultimate School Shows for a performance of books, The Magic is Real at Weisenberg Elementary, Fight Valley Living Historical Farm for Weisenberg Elementary fourth grade, and Marion and Friends Ventriloquists for assemblies at Weisenberg Elementary. Thank you. Um, since we didn't vet these at our workshop, let's take them one at a time and see if you approve it. So uh, having heard the uh, student activity contracts, I would entertain a motion to uh, approve those. Motion by Mrs. Scheffler. Second. Second by Mr. Leiser. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. no. Motion carried. And thank you. And now we have a new psychologist here to see. Mrs. Edmonds. Sure. Thanks, Mr. Deliger. Mm -hmm. So this is a contract for Trina Williams. And you might notice, the board might notice, this is an identical contract to the contract that they approved on November 17th for Mrs. Han Panovic. Trina is also an experienced certified school psychologist who is working full time at Northampton. She is willing to help Northwestern Lehigh on a case-by-case -case basis, similar to how Mrs. Han Panovic is helping us out. Uh, while Mrs. Han Panovic has really been helpful to us and extremely efficient, she's really, um, I can't really say enough about her efficiency in the past few weeks, and so we're really impressed with her. Um, so Mrs. Williams will do a very similar style of work with us and the reason for that is because we're still in need of more help as we're not able to um, fulfill a full-time contracted position with Mrs. Schultz. And so we're using this as some additional time for evaluations. Okay. If anybody has any questions, I can certainly take them. Are there any questions from Mrs. Edmonds before we uh, take action? look like it so uh, thank you mrs Evans. i uh i guess our uh our work level in this area of psychology is increasing and, uh, i'm partially increasing but remember we have a 
an individual on leave on that leave. we were unable to fill a full time right. role. That's the, the basis for this uh, shaving of the peaks. Yes, and and you know with COVID there is there has been I think school districts will tell you across the county that there has been an increase in evaluations from both request parents and teachers and so we're doing our best to keep up with that overflow as well but yes as Mrs. Holman said this is really to fulfill the full-time position for um, Mrs. Schultz and, and they're not easy to find school psychologists right now and um, many because of COVID want to do a lot of virtual work but we're doing our best to try to have students evaluated in person and right now this is the best way for us to do that. All right, uh, hearing the uh, need, I would uh, entertain a motion. Move. Motion by Mr. Second. Second by Mr. Cassiano. Comments or questions? Hearing none, all those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, six You're three. welcome. Uh, Mr. Kish, anything uh, you'd like to point out on the reports? <clears throat> yeah, there's two things on the monthly recap report I wanted to point out. To date, to date, real estate collections are 1.9 million ahead of prior year. This is because you extended the flat rate period for bills last year until December 31st. Also, our in earned income tax is slightly higher to date from last year at 6,000, or slightly less than 1%. Everything else is pretty routine, and I can certainly answer any other questions if you have them. Okay, are there any uh, questions on reports? Hearing none, I would entertain a motion to receive the reports. So moved. Motion by Mr. Patsinger. Second. Second by Mr. Cassiano. Comments, questions? One of the reports? Hearing none, all those in, the light. in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Thank you. And uh, on the <coughs> bills, we have what? End of the year payment is uh, December 23rd. That's a an annual uh, approval that we have to do for those uh, bills uh, at the end of the year. And I would, en would entertain a uh, consent agenda motion for 604, the payment of the bills and 605 payment of the bills as of December 23rd. Motion to approve both of those. Motion to approve 604 and 605 by Mr. Leiser. Thank you. Second by Mr. Fatzinger. Any comments or questions or any explanation you'd like to give? Yeah, I just wanted to point out that tonight the check summary is smaller than usual due to the timing of the board meeting. So we're asking for approval of the checks to get processed through tonight. Uh, we're also asking for approval to do the check run, which is routine items closer to Christmas break uh, that are due before our next board meeting. Okay. Since we only have one meeting this month. Okay, you heard the uh, the bills. I would entertain a motion. We have a motion to say that. I'm sorry. Uh, all those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Motion carried. Under other reports, anything from the foundation, Mrs. Stitzel? Yes, thank you. Um, the foundation has recently approved funding the first round of the teacher mini grants for the 2021-22 school year. And I'm happy to say also has distributed funding for spring 2020 teacher mini grants that were um, delayed actually because of COVID um, and the year that we had last year. So um, that resulted in about, um, I, I think it's about $12,000 um, going out to our teachers. So that is really, I'm happy to report about that. And then also Dr. Sosnovic informed me today that both of our elementary broadcasting studios are now able to utilize our YouTube channel for families to um, actually see the broadcasts. This was also made possible by the generosity of the Educational Foundation. Thank you. Um, we're going to move into committee reports, but I do want to mention at some point I pulled the committee reports off of the agenda because I believe at least two of the new members have interest in serving in two roles. So if you recall, there is an opening for the IU that need, does need to be filled at some point. I do believe Mrs. Senevitis has expressed interest in doing so. And Dr. Hunsicker has expressed interest in the school health advisor, also an open role. Um, and so we pulled that off the agenda so that we were able to do appointments when the new board is new board members are also sworn in. 
but at some point we will have a new IU board representative as well. Uh, we're reorganizing tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't so know I how it's going. He might be president when you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, El Tri C, I did talk to uh, Dr. Kistler, and uh, we uh, have her tentatively scheduled for uh, one of the meetings in January. I'll let you know what, what comes of that. So moving on to uh, old business, there is no bi old business on the agenda. Is there any old business from any board member? Let's put it on the table. So we'll move into new business. And we do have cart donations from, I believe it was uh, Google. And as uh, the board members know, any donation to the school has to be approved by the board. So. Do you have a little description of that? Um, I certainly can. I will also throw it to either Mrs. Pulley or Mrs. Furlett. One of them might want to make comment. I do believe um, they were in contact with us about these um, very nice carts, and they had a number of them. Google's Recycling has. And so it, um, both elementary schools thought that they could use the rolling carts, and both elementary schools will receive 14 rolling carts. Mrs. Furlett um, or Mrs. Pulley, do you wish to comment? Just to say thank you to Kugels for the donation. Um, we're definitely going to be able to put them to good use. Mr. Delacroix asked, are they new? When I saw the picture, they look relatively new. I don't know if they're new or they're used. Yeah. You know no, they are They are brand new. And they are very large. So um, we're, we're definitely going to be able to use them for a lot of different things, which will be helpful. Can I have races? <laughs> Can I have races with them? <laughs> Sure, it'll be a lot of fun on the ramps of Northwestern Elementary. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. All right, so uh, we've heard about the donation. I entertain a motion to receive the cart. Motion to approve the roller cart donation. Motion by Mr. Leiser. Second, Second by Mrs. Scheffler. Any comments or questions? I think I made enough, so. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Or no? Motion carried. Uh, once again, we offer courtesy to the floor to anyone that is with us this evening that would like to uh, address the board. Anybody? And we'll move on to communications. Mr. Cassiano, Secretary. There's nothing tonight. And uh, administration and building sharing, Dr. Sosnovi. I will begin with Mr. Giblin. Good evening, members of the board, um, members of the public and tenants and administrative team. Uh, nothing major to report, but I did have a chance to experience uh, Mr. Sunday and his science students this week. Um, they shared their geological timeline over the history of the earth, and it took up the entire 700 hallway. So it did stretch almost from our uh, cafeteria entrance, entrance all the way down to our gym, uh, back gymnasium lobby there towards the locker rooms. Very impressive, and the students demonstrated their knowledge exceptionally well about um, our overall 13.4 uh, billion year timeline or so that we've experienced thus far. Uh, in addition to that, we have begun winter keystone testing preparation. Um, the dates we've set as our initi initial testing dates moving forward are gonna be January 4th, 5th, and 6th as we return from holiday break. Um, makeup days will be the following week and uh, letters will be going out to parents and families regarding what to expect with the upcoming Keystone testing. Thank you. This is Pulley. Um, just that we are very thrilled to have winter concert back. Um, Northwestern Elementary presents their fifth grade winter concert tomorrow. Um, so the kids are working really hard. It's great to see all of the decorations in the gym and we're very much looking forward to the performance tomorrow. Um, and just uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Mrs. Stitzel. 
Thank you. Uh, I just want to remind everybody about our annual curriculum council meeting, which is scheduled to be held Monday, December 13th, beginning at 1 p.m. Um, a number of our K-12 teachers will be in attendance to talk about their content areas. Uh, and the purpose of the Curriculum Council is to learn about our potential changes to our curriculum, uh, the reasoning behind those changes, and also then how it will benefit our students moving forward. This is Burlett. Good evening. Weisenberg Elementary had their um, our winter concert yesterday with our fifth grade students. Um, there, our band performed, our chorus performed, and all of our fifth grade students. It was great to um, have them perform, listen to their singing, um, witness their talents, and then certainly welcome our families into our building um, to participate with a live audience. So it was a great day and we're looking forward to doing more. Merry Christmas, everyone. Mrs. Edmonds. Just thanks to the board for the contract approval. Obviously we're in a, a difficult situation and we're doing our best to, like I said, keep students needs met and get our evaluations mm -hmm. in order. So we appreciate uh, your approval of those items and just uh, happy holidays to everyone. Mrs. Stauffenberg? Yes, good evening. Uh, the middle school is also looking forward to our winter concert. Um, it is this Friday for our student body and Monday the 13th for our um, parents and families at seven o'clock and happy holidays to everyone. Thank you. Mrs. Yadish. Good evening again. We've had three uh, major activities at the high school in the last week. I'm very proud to announce that last Friday, we inducted 62 students into the Northwestern Lehigh High School National Honor Society. Uh, Mrs. Zimmerman and her officers hosted a lovely ceremony for these students and their uh, families. It was lovely to have everyone back with us in person, and it was a really great way to end our week. Uh, tonight, Mrs. Klein and our high school band and choral students are presenting their winter concert in the high school auditorium. Again, we're happy to have um, people in the audience live for them this year. Um, sorry to say that I could not be there this evening, but uh, Mr. Zimmerman was our representative from the administrative team at the high school there tonight. So congratulations to them. And last week, our drama department took to the stage with their production, Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus. Mr. Munimer and his actors, uh, as they always do, put on a wonderful uh, show for all of us. It was nice to see them virtually last year, but even better to be in the audience with them this year. So thank you to all of those students and Mr. Mutimer. And I wish everyone a very happy holiday and enjoy the time with your family and friends. Thank you. I want to welcome Ryan to this end of the table. Uh, Troy and I sort of spread out uh, <laughs> during that time. So welcome to your piece of real estate. It's good to have you here. And happy holidays to everyone. It's a good time with your family and friends also. Thank you. I just wanted to thank uh, the staff for the warm welcome and also recognize uh, business office, especially Christy Staggerwall, Christy Spanis, Spanitz, and also Ms. Holman for the outstanding job they did with handling the business administrator transition. It really is a great team to be a part of. Um, so I also wanted to wish everyone a happy and safe holiday as well. Chief. Uh, good evening. We are at the uh, uh, number of students down to the PSP Academy last month for uh, a field trip to the Academy and the PSP Museum. Uh, my students were on very, very well for the past few years. We had a good opportunity to see what we can do like. There was a brand new cadet class that had just entered the academy, but he saw a lot of yelling and screaming, and uh, he got some jobs with pushing. Just for folks who raised the transportation there and back, and uh, very, very well. And that was him moving along very, very well. So we had a good holiday. Just a Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you. Same goes for me. Merry Christmas, happy holidays to everyone. Uh, look forward to next year with you. 
just had one item which I should have mentioned in my superintendent's report. I didn't think about it. Um, we were talking about it earlier tonight. For those of you who had the opportunity, the um, Chamber of Commerce um, had a first annual tree lighting at Onalani Park. Um, our acapella group from the high school was able to perform, as well as chorus from Northwestern Elementary and Weisenberg Elementary fifth grade. Um, were able to officially welcome Santa Claus in um, that came in on a fire truck. And so I had the opportunity to see both of um, our groups speak, uh, perform and welcome Santa Claus. Uh, very well attended for those of you who were not there. Um, I mean, up the report I heard was upwards of 1,500 people. And so for our first event at Anilani Park in the chamber and a number of events, the fire companies certainly um, were able to support. I do think they are planning for how to accommodate the number of visitors and the parking and everything for next year, uh, but very successful. And as you know, we've been a good member of the Chamber of Commerce from a school district end, and I'm um, glad to host something here um, that our kids were able to be um, performing on. So thank you and have a nice holiday. Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, Lynn Township ran out of parking spaces Sunday night. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, okay. Mr. Uh, just Merry Christmas to all. Have a good holiday. I just want to welcome the new board members again. I know we welcome a couple of them throughout this whole process, and hopefully you'll get sworn in and fairly soon. Uh, Mr. Kish, welcome. Uh, congratulations to Willard, Todd, on your dedication to the school board and your time. I was, when I heard 20, it was 28 years, it was like very impressive. Appreciate it. And I also attended the uh, drama production, the high school drama production, uh, several times uh, this week. And it was, it was uh, excellent as usual. Uh, Bill, the director, does such a great job. And, uh, he does such a good job with these kids. And uh, I enjoy every year going to see these shows. You're taking Mr. Leiser's seat. I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And lastly, just Merry Christmas there. Thank you. <clears throat> Rachel. Oh, sure. Um, I was going to say the same. So, Bill and Todd, thank you. That's an exceptional number of years combined together. So, just thanks for your volunteerism. And it's been really fun to serve on the board with you. Um, and I, too, was going to say about the um, I caught the elementary children singing at the tree lighting ceremony, which was awesome to have them there. Um, their families were so excited to see them on a different um, environment other than a school gymnasium or a stage. So, Thanks for uh, allowing our students to go out and have that opportunity to do that in the community. Yeah. It, felt, it felt a little bit like a Hallmark, Hallmark movie, kind of. <laughs> said, a um, number of people said if they set her that once, we heard it a Yeah, hundred, right? Like so Christmas and it was so nice. It was just really nice to have a community that like that around this time of year. I too would like to welcome our pseudo board members. Yeah. I'm not quite sure, um, but yes, hopefully you'll get uh, uh, confirmed at some point here shortly. Um, and really just uh, happy holidays, everyone. Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll see you guys at the New Year's. Thank you. Just excited to be here. Looking forward to making it over there and being official. We are too. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Um, I have to say, we also attended the tree lighting. It was awesome. Uh, from a community perspective, it's really nice to see kind of not only our kids outside of the school setting, um, but our community kind of coming together. So that was great. I also attended the drama on Friday. Um, and it was great for my own kids to kind of see their friends, I think, step out of their comfort zone and be in, in that position. So that was great. And I'm excited to be here and happy holidays. Um, I just want to say Merry Christmas to, to everybody. And thank you so much for the warm welcome, even though we haven't officially been sworn in. I look forward to that day. And I do hope that it's sooner rather than, than later. So thank you. Thank you. Hi. Just want to say uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, Merry Christmas. And Mr. Delfer, I want to let you know that uh, Attorney Gross just texted me to tell me that you've been on the board longer than she's been alive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it made you pass your bar in check, right? I did, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what an accomplishment. Uh, 
Merry Christmas and have a great uh, holiday season. Um, we do have a short executive session for legal business uh, after this meeting uh, for the five uh, board members at the table. And uh, with that, I would uh, ask for a uh, motion to adjourn. No move. Motion by okay. Mr. Fatsinger, second by Mr. Weiser. Meeting adjourned. Thank you for attending and uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.